His name is Moma Kumakura. He's a leader of the Kumakura gang, which is under the Ujisaki family. I know. The Kumakuras are known for being peculiar, even among Yakuza. But why is their leader at a live-streamed quiz show? Anyway, it's real fucked up. Even people in my world wouldn't kill someone so gruesomely. That bastard, scaring Tessa like this. Whoever did this better make sure the cops get to him before I do. Oh, you mean Chimpe? Chinpei? Chinpei Wagai. That's his name. He was one of our members until just recently. Was? He went clean. Left the life completely. And where is he now? Who knows? The moment he saw the corpse, he flew out of the room, white as a sheet. He's probably puking into a toilet somewhere. Mizuki Date, 12 years old. Her former name is Okiura, but she was adopted by my superior officer, Kaname Date. That's why I've met her a few times before. Like the time you carried Dante home on your back after he had one too many rounds. I don't know. Not his guardian, you know. He got all giddy about taking a long vacation. He's probably at a cabaret club in Magura right now, pouring some ponzo on that rake of chick's fat thighs. Of 
course. Jin Furroway, right? I've seen him online a bunch of times. What? Isn't it obvious? Iris is totally freaking out, so I'm helping her calm down. When are you letting me leave anyway? That other detective said you still had questions you needed to ask, so... I know her name, without asking. Iris Sagan. I was introduced before the show started, and... She was involved in the new Cyclops serial killings that happened last November. You read the reports. Yeah, so I know enough about what happened. Mr. Date was also on that case. Teleportation! What? That body teleported here from a parallel world! But only half of his body was able to make it through. That's why he was... split in half. <sighs> Jeez. Does she look okay to you? I already talked to the other detective. I want to go home already. <laughs> we work in the same building and you don't know my name. Can't blame you though. You're new. Metro PD Major Crimes. Name's Ushidera. <sighs> Unfortunately, nothing yet. HQ still hasn't gotten any reports about the half body being found. Hell, maybe it's never going to be found. What if that body crossed over time and space to get here? It's possible, right? No? Huh. I already know all about you. No need to say it. Kurita Ryuki, 23 years old. Due to your excellent marks, you skipped a few grades on an elite private university and graduated at 21. Afterward, you went through training at Police Academy for 15 months and were accepted into Abyss last summer. It's incredibly rare for anyone to get into Abyss without having stepped foot on a crime scene. Don't tell me you slept your way in with Boss. Uh, of course I didn't. I took the formal exam and Boss acknowledged my abilities. You mean your endurance? You're a young guy. Yeah, boss definitely seems more into the marathons than the sprints. What are you talking about? Well, Ryuki, when a man and a woman love each other very much... You don't have to explain it! I get it! problems, brain disorder or something? You look like you're losing it a little. No, it's nothing. Boss was invited here by Ma, a host from Kabuki show. Ma told her, let's go on this online show together. It looks so fun. But immediately after she showed up, she was sent a Nile message that read, sorry, something came up. So in other words, he flaked on her. Boss tried to go home, but the show's staff stopped her and begged her to find a replacement. So, she called up her obedient underling, huh? How convenient. Yeah, you remember now? Remember? You never told me anything about this Ma guy. Ah, so Tama told you. After I asked her not to. It's Jin Furaway, no doubt about it. He was like an advisor who represented the young talent. I saw him a lot on the news online. This is so strange. Why just his right half? Hmm, well... 
there's no one else available, so would you mind taking care of it? What? Me? I know this case could get dangerous. It might be too hot to assign to a rookie. But then again, you have a reliable partner with you. Mm-hmm. I'll give you hands-on assistance for this investigation. It's all right now, because I am here! Half might! Half for all! We are full-time heroes! Are you okay, Mr. Ryuki? I feel like you aren't exactly sound of mind right now. the best I can. Looks like he's just standing there to me. Yeah. Is it true that body appeared out of nowhere? It's hard to believe, but... I think he introduced himself to me before the show started. His name was... Andy's Kameji, I think. That's his stage name, of course. His real name is Yonaharu Enda. He's a comedian. I've never heard of him before. He must not be very good. Oh! And I suppose you can do better, asshole! What do you know about comedians? Listen, comedians are all doing their best so they can bring people joy! And here you are, just... Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Are you still out of it, Mr. Ryuki? This is Studio Devaita in Minato Roppongi. It's a rental studio, mostly used for live streaming, filming, that kind of thing. Did you really not understand what you were getting into when you agreed to this? We arrived here right as the stream was about to begin. They made us sit in the contestant seat right away without telling us anything. Well, the title of our show is right there. Faith to Face, our special six-hour livestream marathon, brought to you by Amabi TV. We cut the stream, of course, but the cameras should have been running when that body appeared. I'm sure all of Japan, or even the world, tuning in on the internet is in shock right now. They're being questioned by the police in the waiting room. Mr. Ryuki, aren't you with the police too? Well, yes. Battle, tatter, ravel, or strain. Free is self-explanatory. To set free, or release. So the phrase could mean something like, fight to set free. Hmm. What's with that QR code? 
The thing is, there seems to be an error in the Abyss communication system. We're having issues getting online. What? Come on. What? You got a problem with that? No, not at all. I'm just an inspector. Why would you want to know my name? We're both going after the culprit together. I'd like to get to know you. Wow, what an honor coming from someone from Abyss. My name is Kagami. I see. It's Kagami! K-A-G-A-M-I. My name is Kagami. I told you it's Kagami! Um, I'm sorry. What was your name? Oh, come on. I'm sure you actually remember. Oh, right. I remember now. You're Mr. Oshamambe, aren't you? That's not even close. Jin Furoe? Yes, of course I know about it. I actually follow him on Two Witter. He cuts through all the BS of the modern world. He's insightful, inspiring in a way. Well... What? You still haven't taken DNA samples? Easier said than done. Most of the blood was drained from the body, so we have no choice but to take samples from the organs. Wait, hey, this is no place for a kid. What do you mean? I mean, you're right next to the body. So? So? Well, you... You could be traumatized for life seeing something like this. I'm fine. I've seen worse. A anyway, you're in the way. <laughs> fine. Well, there you have it. So, in other words, you don't have anything. The estimated time of death was about 40 hours ago. Today is February 10th, current time 2200, which means he died around 6 o'clock February 9th. Yesterday morning. There's hardly any blood left in his body. His body must have been left with his legs slightly raised and the cut side facing the ground. Blood naturally flowed out as a result, leaving the cut surprisingly clean and visible. The cut appears to have been made by something far thinner than paper. Thinner than paper? For example, something with zero thickness, like a 2D surface. There's no such... What's more is that it doesn't seem like the connections between molecules were severed. The structure of the molecules themselves have been cut. The identity of the deceased has been confirmed through facial recognition. Jen Furaway, 29 years old, the CEO of Music Food Co. LTD. He's also an executive at several IT firms consultation companies, investment firms, and advertising agencies. His columns and essays are featured in various magazines and online media. He's quite a successful author. By the way, Ryuki, there's something about the corpse's head that's been bothering me. It's hard to see from here, so here's the image I took earlier. What's this? It's an enlarged picture of Jim's temporal region, near the back of his head. 
It's hard to see because of the hair in the way, but there are signs of traumatic subcutaneous hematoma. In other words, there's bruising. I think he got hit with a blunt object. Someone hit him from behind? Probably. But I don't think this is a fatal wound. There's no damage to the skull or brain itself. And as you can clearly see, his cause of death was being split in half. There are no other visible wounds besides the head trauma. He must have been cut in two while he was alive. Wait. What is it? This might not be related to the case, but I just thought of something. Ryuki, would you mind moving closer to the body? Hmm. He's missing one of his back teeth. Yes, the first molar of his upper jaw was completely removed from its root. Judging by the impression left in the gums, it looks like it was removed just recently. Ryuki, I've got a connection! The QR code link. It leads to a ViewCube page. ViewCube? You mean... Yes, the video streaming site. Whose account does the channel belong to? No idea. It was registered using an alias. Okay. Open it. What? I'm sorry. Can you please open it? That's better. What's wrong, Ryuki? Um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me.
Oh, it's Brahmin. You are familiar with it? Yeah, I've been here a bunch of times. Ryuki is supposed to be here? I'm certain of it. Okay, let's go in.